Okay, so we are heading out to dinner. We're going to the resort next door to a restaurant called what? Uh, Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apawa'a. Or okay. for short, it's Huma Humu Cafe. All right, that's next door at the Grand Wailea. Which is a Waldorf Astoria resort. Oh, okay. Yes. And check out little man, he's rocking his little Hawaiian shirt. You look so good, bud. You wanna show it off? <laughs> so we are walking out. Sunset has already happened, but regardless, still looks beautiful, right? Ugh, oh, what a view. Come on, buddy. Let's go. So something that's interesting here that I had to point out to Mike, so right here, that's an actual island. Yeah. And you see like these other like clouds that look like they're on the horizon. Those are clouds, but this is an actual island. I'm not sure which one's the next closest one right there, but yeah. it's pretty cool. So as we mentioned, we are going to the neighboring um, resort. So there is this nice little easy walkway just along the beach. It's really not that far. We did it the other day when we went to go look for some shops. It was maybe like, I don't know, five minutes. Here it is. So this is the Grand Wailea. And as Steve mentioned earlier, this is a Waldorf Astoria resort. Um, it's really pretty. We've stayed here a long time ago. This was actually the very first place I ever stayed at when I first came to Hawaii, which was, I want to say 2011. Really nice place. It's really, it's really under renovation right now. So, but it's still beautiful. So someone actually said uh, in our party that the Grand Valley has more pools for kids. I have to admit, like, this is pretty cool. It's a zero entry sand beach pool for kids. Like, check this out over here. It's a little bit dark. You might not be able to see it, but that's kind of cool. Caleb would love that. Look at that, bud. It's funny too, I forgot to mention this, but we actually came out here, I think it was like our second day here in Hawaii. We actually walked to Grand Wailea and we did a whole day of shopping, but I, we were like 15 minutes away from our hotel room and I realized I forgot the camera. So we didn't film any of it, but now you get to see it. So yeah, as I mentioned, this resort is under like refurbishment, reconstruction. So we are having to kind of take the long path all the way around. I was gonna say the circuitous route. I was gonna say the circuitous route. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are at Humu Humu. Okay, this place is kind of cool. It's kind of got like that very tiki vibe and it's like over water. Um, obviously, this, it's not like the ocean or anything, but it's just in the middle of the resort. Looks pretty cool. Steve just let me know. Maybe not so much tiki, more like Polynesian vibes. I get that. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a little bit wider than just tiki, but I do love the fact that we are dining over the water. You have the view of the ocean. You can hear the ocean as well, plus yeah. these fountains around the way. I think it's going to be a nice, serene dining experience. So here we are at Humu Humu Cafe, or the longer word is Humu Humu Nuka Nuka Apawa'a Cafe. This is, if you didn't know, the longest word found in the Oxford Dictionary, which is the name of the state fish of, the, of Hawaii. So the Humu Humu Nuka Nuka Apawa'a is the fish that this is the namesake of for this cafe. Here we are, we're dining over some water. It's a beautiful, um, serene location. Excited for the dinner tonight. Having said that, we've been sitting here for a while waiting for a waiter to come up. So we will wait for that and eagerly wait for our dining experience. Here is a quick look at the specialty cocktails here at the cafe. Um, as you can see, they've got a nice variety of those Hawaiian cocktails, those tiki drinks we've been enjoying, and they've also got some zero proof options as well. The dinner menu shows a nice selection of starters for entrees. We've got some seafood, we've got some steaks. There is a surf and turf that looks amazing. And then a good selection of sides. What do you think? Crazy man, rock on the Hawaiian shirt. Check out this butter. What color is, or um, uh, the bread. What color is that bread? Blue. Looks like purple to me. We're eating purple bread. So what is this bread again? It's the Thanos roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pull apart taro root. Um, okay. It kind of reminds me of the um, brioche that we have at yeah. the there with the yes. way it's like pull apart. The flavor is definitely very good. You definitely get a little bit of that like Lilikoi like flavor all throughout it. Like it's uh -huh. definitely passion fruit. I don't know if that's from the butter or if it's, it's from, from the, the butter. Bread. Okay. Because I took a bite of the bread by itself. It tastes like brioche bread. But when you go ahead and add this butter here, because you can see it, it's got like big chunks of like probably like the sea salt and maybe a little bit of sugar. I don't know. It's sweet. So now, when you eat it straight forward, like Mike said, this tastes just like not just like, but reminiscent of bull and bear. Yeah. So, it's good. 
Yeah, the color kind of confuses you a bit, but I like it. Looks like something you could serve in Galaxy's Edge. Thanks. <laughs> well, it was purple, kind of was bad. Okay, the cocktails have arrived, and this is the Grand. This is their signature version of their Mai Tai. It's made with high-end liquor, and on top of that, it's made with a pineapple infused foam on top. So, very excited about that. We'll see how it tastes. All right, here we go. I want to start with that foam on the top, so I'm going to start with a drink right from the get-go. So, here we go. It's good. I'm going to take another one. Just one second. This might be my favorite on this trip. Oh, really? Yes. The Grand. Wow. This is good. I need Mike to try it to validate it, okay? Okay. So here we go. Go again, go again. Go okay. again. From the top, all the way from the top. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That's I like good. that. It's good. It's good. It's limey. I don't get the lime on this one. Oh, I did. I did. Did you mix it? A little bit. Okay. I got like a really great like macadamia that or jot flavor profile on that. Hmm. Try it again. All right. <laughs> Mike is not a fan. <laughs> I need to validate myself here. All right, mix it up. But still going to start with that foam. Yeah, I feel like this is a little bit more balanced. Okay, good. Yeah, it's not so lime forward. I think it, uh, you definitely get a little bit more of that orgeat, which is what I love uh -huh. in a Mai Tai. So um, orgeat, if you don't know, it's um, it's an almond liqueur that helps kind of like balance it out, makes it a little bit more robust and not as tarty, in, in my opinion. And some of these Mai Tais here, I, mean, I have to look at the menu, some of them do actually a macadamia nut arjat, so this might be it. I don't know if it is, but I like it. I think it's a good Mai Tai. I think it's better than what I've tried so far today, or today. <laughs> I think it's better than what I've tried so far in this trip. Having said that, we know that Monkey Pod has been a reigning champion, and we had a off night at Monkey Pod, or afternoon at Monkey Pod. I'm not sure we're gonna get a chance to go back to Monkey Pod to just reevaluate to see if they just had an off day or not, but this one's winning it for me. It was a whole trip of Maui, so there you go. Our appetizer has shown up, and to start, we've got the char sui baby back ribs. Excuse me if I'm mispronouncing that, but this is hoisin barbecue sauce, green onion, and sesame. These look so good. Our server did let us know that they are very, very hot, and that plate is piping hot, um, but you can smell them. They smell amazing. All right, so these ribs are actually pretty good. Um, I do like the sauce. It's different from what we've had. So this is the second time we've had ribs on this trip. The first time being at Morimoto's. This sauce is very different from that, but I do have to say those wings were better than this. Yes. Um, I feel like the sauce here is a little bit more barbecue-y. It's more it's very kind of like, like southern style. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I also feel that they're a little dry. Yeah, I agree. But like overall, like as disappointing as Morimoto's was, they right. got that right. Yeah, the ribs, that was their selling point. Yes, they for did sure. that very uh, well. Yeah, um, but these um, these are still good, but I say in comparison, because we've had them so close to one another, back to back almost, those were the way to go. Yeah, I think these are pretty basic, middle of the road ribs. The other, the other thing I want to say also is I think it's because of the hoisin sauce. They both have that, but this has more of like that barbecue-y flavor. It's a sweet, tangy over, barbecue. Like it's very like, it's very Southern. I yeah, think. for sure. I don't over, get, there, over there at Morimoto, it was more hoisin. Yeah. So. Agreed. A little bit more Asian flair over there. I get nothing that's specific to Hawaii here. For those okay, yeah. Is I that know. fair? Yeah. Okay. Okay, everybody, entrees have arrived, and you are in for a shock. I went with the macadamia nut crusted catch. Can you believe it? I've been eating steak, like, every night, so I decided to switch things up. So here I've got the, as I mentioned, the mac nut crusted catch. Tonight's fish is a mahi-mahi, and this is served with a sweet potato puree, baby bok choy, and a lilikoi emulsion. 
And for my entree, I did what is called the crab crusted catch. And I'll have to admit, I'm not sure what the actual type of fish is that we have tonight. He did say it's very close to the Mahi Mahi family, but this is served with a crab crust on top, tropical salsa, and a coconut rice on the bed of it. It looks absolutely delicious. Can't wait to dive into this. Little man over here enjoying his ice cream. So, fun fact, we actually told Caleb no dessert tonight, but then our server let us know that ice cream is included. So, but he did a pretty good job. You ate most of your chicken, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my mac nut, I think I put most of you, like I said, I think I put most of you in shock because I did not order a steak tonight. Although it's there's been beef on beef on beef yes. the whole time. And their surf and turf here looked awesome. But I decided, let's venture out. I'm in the mood. Let's do some fish. Again, this is the mac nut crusted catch. This is amazing. Awesome. The fish itself is very, very delicious. Our server let me know that it's going to be on the sweeter side with that macadamia nut crust. He was not kidding because they did not skimp on that macadamia nut. It's kind of got like a honey flavor, like a little bit of a glaze on top. It's got a really nice crusting, but the fish itself is very soft and flaky. It's so delicious. There's so much flavor there. I love it. No fishy flavor? No, not at all. It's awesome. very fresh. I'm very happy with this decision. Very good. And as I said, I had the crab crusted catch of the day, and I have to admit, I did not catch the name of the fish that they actually caught, but he did say it's pretty close to the mahi mahi, which is what Mike's enjoying on his plate. With the crab crusted, I have to comment that you have to be a seafood lover to really enjoy this, because the, the uh, crustacean level of that crab definitely levels up the seafood flavor on top of that. I love it. Especially with that tropical salsa on top of it, you have that pineapple that kind of sweetens it all, the whole thing out together with that bed of coconut rice. I think it's delicious, but again, fair warning, you have to be a seafood lover to love this dish. And that was our dinner at Huma Huma. As you saw, everything was just so delicious. The food was great. We had a wonderful time, but our time in Hawaii was coming to a close. We only have one day left to share with all of you guys. I'm really looking forward to dropping that video. We've got a lot more fun stuff coming your way, and we hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy.